Okay. So this is the first time we're meeting, and you said it's been about four or five months since you've had anybody trim these, yeah? Yes. Okay. So you had a good story for me, you said. Well, my name is Marlon, and I enjoy asking people if they ever heard that song, A Boy Named Sue. Mm -hmm. And even though my name is Marlon, it's spelled M-A-R-L-Y-N. Mm -hmm. And that creates a little confusion. It results in people looking at it too quickly and arriving at the, the name is Marilyn. Uh -huh. And so all through junior uh, grade school. That couldn't have been easy. It wasn't easy at all. I was picked on. I became so introverted. I was afraid of my own shadow. Oh. And so as time passed, I got a fourth grade teacher who went through a whole series of things to build my positive feelings or some positive feeling. Mm -hmm. And after that result happened, I, I ended up going, take, considering going out on the ocean and uh, my goal would, would have been to catch a marlin. <laughs> and as you know, when people catch their marlin, they always string, string it up and hang it by the tail dockside. Take a picture. Take a picture of it. And I wanted to catch one and have that happen with my marlin. Mm -hmm. And then I, my goal was to then take a picture of myself, wrap a ro rope around my ankles and hang me upside down alongside of my fish. And next to your marlin. <laughs> <laughs> and my, the caption of that would be, which marlin caught the marlin. Oh, did you ever get to do it? I never got to do it because, uh, as I call it, the big water, I can't even get a half a mile out on it, and uh, I become seasick, oh. dreadfully seasick, oh. incurable. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But that name also caused me difficulty in another area. When I was, again, introverted, mm -hmm. I was picked on, as that often is the case. Mm -hmm. And I, my day was miserable every day because of three boys. This is in late, late uh, grade school. So what year are we talking? Like? Fifth, fifth, sixth grade. Now, I sh was shaving every day when I was in the sixth grade. You were shaving in sixth yes. grade? and I had black hair before I had no hair and white hair. <laughs> Wow. And these three boys were making my life miserable, following me home and just no end to the discomfort that they mm. caused. Yes. And all because of that name, Marlon, alias Marilyn. Marilyn, yeah, because at quick glance it does look like Marilyn. So one day I decided to ask my mother how it was that she chose a Y rather than an I or an O or an A for Marilyn. Mm -hmm. She said she came to that conclusion because yeah, yeah. Excuse me, I just had something caught in my throat. Uh. She came to that conclusion because she said the name looks so pretty spelled out with a Y. And I explained to her, yes, black eyes and bloody noses and fat lips mm -hmm. were very pretty also, and I cherished them greatly. So if you met a child today that was bullied, because that's what we would call it now? Yes. How, what, what advice would you give them, or how did you get past that? Just curious. Because you don't seem introverted at all today. I, I think there's a lot of luck that's involved. Uh, you're so vulnerable when you reach a stage of, of uh, uh, unable to... I'm sorry. It's okay. Is it making... am I making you emotional talking about this? Is that a little bit? A little bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable at all. I think the luck aspect of it comes in when, when like in my case, I encountered a th th third grade teacher who took me from the bottom of the class scholastically to the top of the class mm -hmm. in years to come. One person did that for me. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, she became a favorite friend of my parents because she was so successful at helping me change. And it all worked out for the better. Hard to know what to recommend. I, I went over to a place called the Citizens Club and they had a boxing program there. And that's where I learned how to box. Mm -hmm. So you you boxed and then beat the <clears throat> out of the boys ultimately that had been bullying you, huh? I set up a date of, of uh, about two hours apart at three different playgrounds in the area that I lived. Mm -hmm and had them show up, like I said, with about an hour in between. And I had no trouble doing away with the first one. And I told, I spread the message and told as many people as I could get to to come and watch, because I was confident with my product. Mm -hmm. And the first one, like I said, I did away with in short order. The second one wasn't a whole lot harder, but the third one, we had a reputation of being the toughest guy in the school. He and I fought and fought and fought, and before you knew it, we were both on our knees, and I fell over on my side, just exhausted, and my friend Charlie did the same thing. And I call him my friend Charlie because for three years after that, he and I became best friends. That's, that's a crazy story. Now, well, I got to know Charlie's father. He's six foot six and weighed over 300 pounds. And he resulted in beating his kids. And oh, just and that's why Charlie was a bully. That's why Charlie was a bully. It just seems to go in order. Wow. Well, thank you for, I, I mean, that's an incredible story. Curious, what became of Charlie? Do you know? I mentioned that for three years, Charlie and I became best friends. Mm -hmm. That's where Charlie's life ended. He was shot in a filming station robbery. Oh Lord! It was like losing a brother at the time. I'm sure. I'm going to come around and trim this callus for you. Um, Actually, when Charlie and I were laying down one side of each other, our, our, the way we were feeling was put aside because first Charlie started to laugh and then I started to laugh. <laughs> and then Charlie says, this was pretty, pretty stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> and you said, agreed. to focus on the chair instead of on your foot. Charlie's father was a man that when he wasn't drinking, he was as nice a man as you ever want to meet. Oh. So I'm assuming this was all back in what, the 40s? 50s? 50s. I 
I'm a graduated a graduate of the high school that's on my shirt. Oh, right here in town. That was the original South High School. So I'm gonna just get lots of lotion on these feet. Now, have they looked this dry and scaly for a long time? That's just been coming on more lately, and I got some new uh, stuff to use, and I, this is the third day that I put some of it on. Do you know what it is that you're putting on? Is it like a steroid ointment, or? It's white as a lot. Okay. Um, so, scaly feet like this, can just be dry skin. It can also be if you have some psoriasis. It can it can look like this a little bit, but it also can be an athlete's foot infection. So if the cream that you're using is that from your doctor? Yes. Okay. It's most likely a steroid cream would be my bet. If that doesn't work, then we may want to switch you over to a an anti like an athlete's foot cream. Okay. Well, thank you for letting us video, and thank you for your story. You're very welcome.